Congratulations. Hello. We are live. I'm just waiting for YouTube to catch up. Morning. Hey, everybody. Just waiting for YouTube. Oh, there we go. All righty. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie. Hi, Ian. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Ian. Good to see you both. Yeah, it's been a while, Ian. Yeah, we're going to have to have you on again, Ian. Ian just put up another video about uh, pencil lines. Um, so I'm going to have to go check that out later. Yeah, me too. Um, we are working on Christmas um, decorations today. Last week we did Christmas ornaments. This week we are doing Christmas decorations. And I have got this beautiful violin here. Um, it's a very hard plastic that my dear friend Olivia Hernandez sent me last year. Um, and it's been sitting on my shelf here looking at beautiful at me. And it was originally gold, um, but I gave it a coat of gesso yesterday and it's all nice and dry. So I'm going to be working on that today because I would like to have this as a Christmas decoration in my home. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Hello, Hi, Grandma. Um, and now I'm going to click over on Kimmy, and Kimmy can share what she's up to. So let me click over on you, Kimmy. Over I'm, you. I'm just going to do a quick tin. I don't see me on there yet. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. My husband, my husband brought this home from work. It, you know, it's one of those cookie, sugar cookie tins. So um, I put a coated gesso on there. Hi, Wendy. And it's Hi, still Wendy. a little tacky, so I might have to heat dry it another second. I didn't even really get to the inside. Um, but I'm going to alter this, and I've just got a whole basket of goodies that I put aside that may or may not make it on here so it's just going to be a christmas altered pin awesome yeah hey mary hi mary hi dc yeah. scrap and rooster yeah that's neary oh neary i thought you said mary i thought it was yeah. mary melsheimer okay no mary's hey. at work although she does pop hi, in mom. hey Thanks mom hey everybody you? Um, so I'm going to paint my violin now, and I'm using this Americana Decor, which I probably shouldn't have taken the lid off before I showed you the side okay. of it. I left the lid off my gesso overnight and didn't realize it. <laughs> this is what I'm using, Americana Decor Chalky Finish, and this color is called Lace, and it's by um, DecoArt. So that's what I'm going to be painting this first. And I also yesterday made some um, paper clay molds with my Prima molds that I'm going to be putting on here um, as well. I want that violin too, Neri. I hear you. <laughs> yes, Olivia sent me that, Neri. Olivia is so sweet. Yes. Um, Good message, so Olivia. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. Let me just get my brushes out here and we will get this painted and then we can start working on it. I have a few ideas what I want to do with this. Now, if you guys follow uh, Jane Marge, who is Creative Craft Closet here on YouTube, she alters real violins. That's and uh, they're absolutely gorgeous and yummy. So That is amazing. Um, I'm going to look at Goodwill for sure. Total... Um, inspiration for this violin I think would be Jane Marge because her work is so beautiful. So is anybody crafting today? Anybody else going to be crafting along with us? What are you guys up to? And please let us know like if our heat guns are too loud or anything or we need to speak up or anything like that. Yes and I do have a little heater on in my room because it is negative six Celsius outside and uh, it's a little chilly here. Hi, Shivani. Hey, Siobhan. I have a fan on because it's hot here in Florida. <laughs> yes, we are at opposite ends of the temperature scale, Kimmy and I. <laughs> I 
So I'm kind of excited to get finally get this uh, violin done because, like I said, it's been sitting on my shelf here in front of me for a while, and I've kind of been waiting for the right time. Look at all this great scroll work on the back of this. It's amazing. It's so gorgeous. So okay, Julia's going to be painting. What are you painting, Julia? <clears throat> Yeah, her violins are amazing, Neri, I know. They're incredible. Ladies um, as we, and gentlemen, as we always say, please take a moment to during our show and subscribe to everybody. We like to support each other. We do. Share our videos, gives us a th give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Oh, you're painting your bathroom, Julia. Oh, well, hey, you know, that's oh, wow. Nice. You must be having people over for Christmas. Everybody's doing home, home decor and repair stuff before the holidays. Including us <laughs> and Kimmy. Yep. Well, I'm sorry. She's Kim and I'm Kimmy. Sorry. Kim is from Canada and Kimmy is in Florida. Yeah, it gets a little confusing, but yeah. What can we say? We're besties and we're crafters. And we just happen to have the same name. Although Kim Fuller is a Kimberly and I am not. I am a Kimberly. My There's legal no name. L Y, not L E Y, no E in mine. Oh, Julia, you had a earth shake. Uh-oh. Are you in Alaska, Julia? I know there was a big one there recently. Yeah. Purple paint for your bathroom. That's awesome. That's my favorite color. My husband wants to live in Alaska. Did you know that, Kim? I think I did, yeah. Um. Grandma, Siobhan's first name is S-I-O-B-H-A-N. So pretty. She's I love an this Irish, color. She's an Irish lass. She is. A bonnie so, Irish lass. So what color are you painting your tin, Kimmy? I don't know. I am cutting up a napkin to put on the cover. I've actually torn up a a coffee filter that was tea dyed. Hang on, let me click on you and you can show because I'm just painting, so it's a little boring. Okay. <laughs> you can show what you're doing. I'm quick. Kim always tells me to slow down, so I, I'm a little quick. I guess I'm always afraid I'm going to have to go, <laughs> so I'm always trying to. Okay, so I have um, put this. There we go. Put this. Um, tea dyed coffee filter. I just tore off a bit of it and glued it down, and then it may or may not stay. I mean, it you know, it may get covered up. And then I've selected this napkin with this beautiful little angel, and she's gonna go on the front. I haven't cut her down yet, she's gonna go on the front. So I'm kind of going with uh, you can see it's kind of like a bluish lavender green color scheme. I'm taking a break oh, from pretty. the pink for a little bit. Hi, Elegant Delights. Thanks for coming. We can hey, call Elegant. you Emma. So that's where I'm at for right now. I love that napkin. That's one of my favorite napkins. Is it really? And it's the last one that I have. So I wanted to put it on something special. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this tin when I'm done. If it's going to become a gift with some cookies in it, because this year for our holiday baking, we're taking a break from our traditional chocolate chip banana bread, and we're going to do cookies instead. So it might be a gift with some cookies in it. Or it we might always do shortbread. Just... That is my family's tradition since I was a child. Well, my um, husband loves shortbread and he loves sugar cookies. I've been pinning recipes all over the place on Pinterest. 
and I want to try to like subscribe free this year. So we'll see. If you guys have any great sugar cookie, shortbread, any kind of Christmas cookie recipes, um, feel free to send me the recipe, the messenger, or the links. That would be great. Mine is my grandma's recipe, and it's so easy. It's four ingredients, butter, flour, brown sugar, and just a tiny bit of vanilla. That's it. What do you guys think? That's kind of cute, right? With her on there? Yep. Love and it. You will see the, um, the coffee filter, and then I'm going to eventually paint. I just haven't decided what color paint yet. She's beautiful. All right, that's where I'm at right now. If you want to click back on you, Kim. Yep, one sec. I'm just trying here. And if you guys have any, anybody has any challenges or giveaways or anything going, you can post those in the chat too. Yep. We like those. Okay, so I've got my, my paint on here now. So what I want to do next is do a bit of dry brushing with some of this um, Art Alchemy uh, paint in gold. Um, peanut brittle, yummy. Oh, I love peanut brittle. Miri does that. See here, what, what brush do I want? Yeah, that's a good idea, Julia. If you're having any issues buffering, go ahead and refresh. Sorry, Kim. Um, no, that's okay. I want a really stiff brush for this, so this one will do. And for dry brushing, you just want to like highlight because I want to pick up all those raised areas that are on here, all the the filigrees and everything that you see on here. So pretty. That looks so pretty. That I don't want it so too pronounced. I wish I knew where she got that because I would really like to have a couple. I think she got it at a flea market. I oh. think there was only two and she got one for her and one for me. I think that's wow. where it came from. So Right now, we all want some peanut brittle. <laughs> Although my teeth don't want that. <laughs> I love my dad used to love peanut brittle. That was one of his favorite things. He used to get a box of it every Christmas. My family um, liked, you know, like my mom makes those, what do you call them? Like magic cookie bars. And oh, yeah, what's in those? Um, it's like a tall house chocolate chip cookie, but it's got shredded coconut in it. Oh yeah. Any kind of different kind of chips that you want in it. The violin is made out of like a hard plastic. Yeah. And then Brian's family likes lemon bars and, um, Brian and I like the taffy, like the seas candy, the taffy, but you know, none of that's good for our teeth. Um, Julie wants to, you to comment so she can make sure that she's sub to you. Done. Oh, my caps lock was on. Okay. I don't know what color paint I'm feeling for this. The original color of this was gold. So it's kind of funny that I'm putting gold back on it. But it is funny because gold's not your favorite either. I don't know. I'm into gold this this season. I don't know. That's really unusual for you. I think I think it's the rose gold that has brought me over to the gold side because I was oh. a silver person, but now I'm into gold. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Rose gold is so awesome. Sorry, I'm looking through my paint drawer. Oh, I think this is going to be good. Oh, soft lilac, I think it's called. Okay, we're going to go with that. Mm. 
I'm wondering if like a Michaels or something would have something similar to these violins. You better believe I'm going to check. Because <laughs> they've got 50% off on Christmas and Hobby Lobby does. And, you know, Michaels has coupons at the wazoo all the time. So nice. Yep. And my daughter, who I'm driving to work later today, happens to work in the same shopping center as Michael's. So mm -hmm. that comes in handy too. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everybody who asked. She was in a car accident. She's absolutely fine. She definitely had angels watching over her. Um, her car, not so much, but it's in the shop. So all's well that ends well. Yeah, chipboard would be good. Um, also, uh, FernleyDesigns.com has a wooden guitar that um, would be really pretty altered as well. Fernley has great chipboard. Yeah, they've got beautiful pieces. Joggles has chipboard. Um, they have other things as well. Um, does White Rose have chipboard, Kim? Um, not really, no. Where do you guys like to buy your chipboard? just love the the scrolls on the back of this it's so pretty it's almost a shame that that's the front and that's the back you know what i mean because it's yeah. just so, so detailed and pretty i love it oh i'm really liking the paint color that i chose for this cool i'm using a um, americana soft black <laughs> Oh, hobby craft in the range, yeah. I don't see what she said. It just says, I get chipboard here, and I don't see the... Um, Siobhan would be getting that at home there in Ireland somewhere. Oh, okay. I mean, you can also, if you just have, like, a heavy chipboard, like... Um, you know, the backs of your paper pads, they usually are a heavy chipboard. You can just download or get an image off Google Images and um, trace it. That's a great idea. I like to use the graphics fairy for images, but I think you have to pay now. It used to be free way back yeah, when. Yeah, you do have to pay. Yeah, she's got great, if you like vintage, she's got great vintage images. Awesome. All right, let me see what I got here. I've got some bits and bobs here. Okay, heat gun. Heat gun alert. Heat gun alert. I'm not going to dry it too much because I'm going to be adding mica colored eyeshadow and probably some glitter and snow and things. I kind of feel like I want to make another one of these. I go on that side. Yeah. What did you, did you make that with the air dry clay? I did. And I used the other one yesterday. So I might make one. Might just well, make one. Have, everything is so expensive in Australia. Your name is D, right? Elegant Delight. I think I remember your name is D. I think you're thinking of Elegant Embellishments. Oh, maybe. What's your first name, Elegant Delight? So the, the paper clay that I use is called Delight. Grace. Okay. I love that name, Grace. 
Um, this is the one I use. And who is this by? Good question. Who's it by? It's made in Japan. Creative Paper Clay. Um, and I like this brand the best. I've just, I've used quite a bit. Um, the mold here is a Prima mold. And um, I'm just going to be making the opposite one to this, which would be that Where's one. This? You want to click on me while you do that? Yep. There you go. Over to you. Okay. I um, you can see the color I chose. It's this soft lilac. I think that looks really pretty with the image. And right now I am using my Dollar Tree uh, mica eyeshadow. This is like a silver. I've also got a pink ready to go and a very deep purple, which I'm probably going to pass on. And I'm using some Martha Stewart Crackle because it's really great to just put a little drop of Crackle or I actually put the mica powder down first and then my brush is wet with the Crackle and you can see how it just spreads the mica out really, really well. And it's, it's so great so that you use eyeshadow for that. And it's so inexpensive. I mean, I wish Dollar Tree had more colors, but, um, you know, I've got other things like, um, you know, there's all kinds of cinnabar. I've got, you know, gold flakes, there's all kinds of things, but I just think that um, a little bit of this goes a long way. So this, I think, is cute. And just to play around and figure out the colors that you want to use. Like, I'm just going to, I have a little bit of the crackle on my, desk so I'm just going to swipe a little bit of it on here and then I'm just going to um, start sprinkling a little bit of the pink on pink there so there's not a lot of pink in this image so I don't want to do a whole bunch of pink gotta have a little pink in there somewhere though and it's a very subtle pink as you can see here I'll kind of lift it up Gonna click on me for a minute. Go ahead. So I've got my clay in the mold here, and because this is a silicone mold, I can heat it. Um, it won't affect anything. And if you're in a hurry for a mold, a paper clay mold, you can heat dry it a bit. So that's already starting to dry pretty good. And then what I'll do is pop it out and dry it a bit more, and then I can use it on my project. Just a little kind of a trick. Um, I love these Prima molds. I use these all the time. That's on my crafty bucket list for next year. I want to get some oh, more. Now see, that broke, so i got to fix that. I want to get some more molds and um, air dry clay. I tried the ones you bake, and I baked them too long, so <laughs> that yeah. wasn't a good look. <laughs> I prefer the air dry clay myself. Yeah, the only air dry I have is pink, so, or no, yeah, no, it's the oven bake is the pink, so I have to get some air dry. White Rose sells that though, right? The oven clay? The air dry. No, they don't. Oh, wow. Nope. So now that I've popped it out, I'm just going to heat dry the front a bit, and then you'll be able to just glue it down and you'll be all set. Oh my God, you just had another one. It was 4.7, Julie. Oh my goodness. Stay safe, my friend. Hi, Avril. Hey, Avril. Thanks, Giovanni. It's good to see you, Avril. I haven't seen you for a while, hon. And the paper clay is super, super light because it's paper, so it is light as, a, as paper. That is nearly dry, believe it or not. That's cool. I mean, paper clay is a bit, a little bit spongy, even when it is dry. Um, I don't know. I just like it better, but, you know, everybody has a preference. Now, I was going to put this purple eyeshadow away because I thought it was too dark, but it's actually really pretty. 
So that Siobhan, one's dry Siobhan, enough for sure. Siobhan, some of this eyeshadow's coming your way. So I thought that um, these would look really pretty like this on the violin. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to use some pearl strings or pearl trim for the strings on the violin. Pecan. Kim, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I think the it's going to be amazing. The mold looks so amazing. Yeah, I love uh, paper clay molds. If anybody has time to scour the internet and find this violin, please let me know. I want to get one or two. Hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. Yes, please stay safe, Julia. And then, of course, I'm going to um, paint and distress the molds after they're glued on. You could, you could even do that before, but... It doesn't really matter. Thank you, Shivani. We're working on holiday decorations. If you just joined us, um, I'm altering a little cookie tin and Kim's doing this gorgeous chipboard violin. No, it's plastic. Or plastic, sorry. So thankful that we're both able to be here and we're both feeling okay and there's no drama with any of our children. <laughs> yes, my daughter Jordan is out of the hospital, guys. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, she's coming here for Christmas with my son-in-law and my grandson. Yay. So I'm super happy about that. And then um, for New Year's, we are going down to my other daughter so I can see my other daughter and my two sons and my other three grandchildren. Yay. So we got lots of holiday stuff happening here in the Fuller House. Sounds like best holiday ever. Yeah, it's going to be good. I mean, the kids are all at such a great age. Right. And it's also my grandson Braden's birthday on the 27th. So Aww. it's Christmas, New Year's, and birthday every year. <laughs> I can't wait to be a grandma. I think I'm going to be a grandma. Well, I can't believe that he's going to be nine. Yeah, that's I crazy. I can't even believe he's going to be nine years old on the 27th. I just, I can't even believe it. I remember when he was born. Right? And, I mean, it just seems like a minute ago, you know, I was in the delivery room when he was born, and, you know, I held him before either of his parents did. Oh. And, uh, you know, it just seems like a hot second ago that, that he was born and uh yeah it just goes by so quickly i can't wait kaylee rose right. keeps telling me to hold my horses it just got to get married we got five months to the wedding <laughs> so now i'm going to glue down some of these pretty pearls here i think as the violin strings oh that's a good point i forgot i was going to do that too Pull them out. Where did I put hey, them? Hey, country girl, scrapping. How are you, girl? Hi. I had to say that with a bit of a country twang, twang too. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, that's not even. Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm we'll country it. girl, scrapping. Hey, Hi, I'm Canadian. That's as country as I can get. How you doing, girl? Trust me, I, I live in the country. For sure. You Florida country. Yep. I'm Canuck country. 
our our subdivision is called the ranch lands and literally there's people that um ride horses up and down our road literally nice yeah you've seen them i've taken you on hangouts with me around my neighborhood yep we got a couple neighbors that have a, a few horses huey and dewey we have um other animals in my neighborhood like deer and wolves and bear bear well the bears are asleep right now oh we have bears here not bears hibernate in the winter here we have pesky critters right now that like to get in the trash like armadillos and um well, yeah we don't have those up here in canada yeah, we we squirrels that all want to get into the trash and the bears bye wendy enjoy your tea hon thanks for coming Oh, she's in Canada, Cam. Oh, where are you, country girl? What's your first name, hon? I'm in Ontario. Ish. <laughs> no, I'm right smack in the middle of Ontario. Oh, are you? <laughs> right in the middle. Can't get more in the middle than me. When you said cottage town, it makes me think that you're out in the boonies. I am out in the boonies. But you're right smack in the middle of a big town. No, big smack in the middle of Ontario, which is a province. Oh, okay. That's like a state for the U.S. We call them provinces here. Yes, I'm in the middle of the province. But Ontario is like a massively huge province. Oh, you're in B.C. She's away on the other side of the country. She's very far from me. Oh, bummer. But my friend Karen Billinger is from B.C., is she? Yep. She's such a sweetheart. Hey, we're missing her today. Yeah, she's moving. Um, oh. Uh, she'll catch the replay, I'm sure. And when you do, hi, Karen. Good luck with your move, Karen. You live in the country, Angie? What, where, you're in the States, are you? This was a Jane Marge hack uh, using the pearl trim for the strings. Very clever. Yeah, well, she's a smart girl, Jane Marge. Tennessee! Girl, you are in the country. Whereabouts in Tennessee? She's in Vol territory. I love the Vols. The Vols? Vols, volunteers. Oh, the Vols. I thought you said balls. <laughs> no, you see her um, her orange. That's Tennessee orange. Oh. I've been to Knoxville many, many times. Yeah, she is in the country for sure. Like the place I visited in, in Knoxville was a farm and, you know, we, it was cows and bonfires and hay rides. Rockwood. Huh. I wonder where that's at. Not sure. Uh, oh, lots of awesome. Irish technology going on in the chat here. Yeah, I see that. That's awesome. I'm going to click over on you for a minute, Kimmy, and you can show where you're at. Okay. I should have waited to do this glitter. Let me see. What the heck? Okay. Um, so here is the finished with the paint and the eyeshadow. In the different colors, the silver, the pink, and the purple. So pretty. And I then, like the lavender with it. Thank you. And then you can see I put some glitter on the inside while things were still a little tacky. And I've got silver and white going on there. And then I didn't paint the bottom, but I just wanted to show you, Kim reminded me, I glued some big pearls so my tin will stand up because I, I kind of like that. Cool, dude. Yeah, and that's where I'm at. Um, I'm probably going to start, 
embellishing a little bit more and I might add some snow, but that'll be like the last thing. So I'm kind of happy with this color though. This Americana soft lilac is I think really pretty on this image. It is a pretty color for sure. Yeah, it is pretty. I think I'm going to look for this color in a mother of the bride dress because I like it so much. So that's where I'm at. I'm just giving my um, paper clay molds just a little bit of a a coat of that same um, linen paint from Americana Decor. Just to Hi, Shannon. Of... Hey, there's our girl. How are you doing, Shannon? Hey, all our besties are here. Shannon's going live today too, ladies. Um, at what time, Kim? Four or five? Four p.m. Eastern time, nine p.m. UK time on, in her Facebook group. Um, see if you can put the link in the chat to your Facebook group, Shannon. It should let you because you're a mod. And once this paint on here is dry um, on the molds, then I'm going to do the same gold dry brush technique. I just want to get the backs here too. Z. Z. Sounds like a razor. The name of her group is what her her um, name is in the chat. Morrissey's um, Art and Crafts Design Studio. Yeah. Oh, she said, hi, Grandma Siobhan. <laughs> Glad you're feeling better, Shani. Yep. We're all very glad about that. Glue strings, don't you love them? All right, let's dig around in my basket and see what else. I hit the mother load yesterday. I met a wonderful lady that literally lives walking distance from my house. Who oh, gave Warner, okay, I'll, I'll get it, Shannon. Sorry, Kimmy. I'll get it in a sec, Shannon. Um, and she gifted me a huge bunch of ribbon and a lot of it is vintage. And like, I could not, Kim saw it. I could not be more lucky. And I'm totally sharing with you, Shannon and Siobhan. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm a lucky girl. And she's the sweetest lady. And she told me that um, this morning, she said, there will be more as I clean out my stash. So I'm excited. Hi, Tammy. Hi, right, Tammy. Let me go get um, Shannon's Facebook group here. If my thing will load. I don't think you have links turned on. Oh. Um, yeah, I can do them, but I, I, I have to look on the back end and see if the mods can do it. I thought they should be able to, but... I'll have to look after we're done being live. Okay. But that's okay. I'll get it. Okay, here's the link to Shannon's live, you guys. Um, or her live, pardon me, her Facebook group. And um, she goes live in her Facebook group. Anytime, my friend. I might do a live in my Facebook group as well coming up soon. Yeah, I'm going to be doing more in mine as well after the holidays. Um, the holidays are just going to be super busy for me. So um, I think the new year, there's going to be all kinds of new things happening. So mine is called Kim's Vintage Rose and Crafty Friends. If anyone's interested in Kim's is Angel Dream Crafts. Yeah, the link to my Facebook group is in the description box below this video. And let me go back and I'll get Kimmy's group. Would love to have you. I also posted a challenge in my group last night. 
and there will be a few more of those coming up as well. And my challenge will get posted probably later today on my YouTube channel, which is Vintage Rose Designs by Kim. Okay, so there's Kimmy's group. The second one. Thanks. Okay, so I just need to heat set this paint and then we're gonna do the dry brushing again. Wanna make sure the paint is dry on, on the scrolly. I would possibly use mixed media glue on this, uh, but in the interest of time, I'm using my little glue gun today. Um, but if I had more time, I would probably use some mixed media glue, you know, because I'm kind of gluing metal to metal here. Just saying. Yeah, you need a good glue. Yeah, I'm just, just saying. <laughs> I know it does look ceramic, doesn't it, Grandma? But um it it's plastic it, but it's beautiful like it's a beautiful mold of uh a violin yeah. yeah so um i'm going to use the same prima art alchemy paint and this one is ancient coin um and again we're going to do the dry brushing so let me get my my brush out of the water here and get it dried off I have to get so some dry brushing, you put a little bit on your brush and then you wipe most of it off. And then you just touch the tops. And to you can see how it, it highlights all the grooves. And now that kind of blends right in. So I think we're going to put some on here too. Put some on the pearls. Gots to have pearls. Oops. I think I broke a piece, Trat. To glue that. That just kind of colors the strings a bit, makes it look a bit more vintagey. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, so that's what I'm at at the moment. Bye, Neri. Bye, Neri. Good luck with your painting. So I just uh, did a bit of dry brushing there, you can see. Um, and, and I colored the strings a little bit with some dry brushing here, you can see on the, on the pearls now. So there's where we're at. So now... What do I want to do? I have some gold leaf that I think I'm going to add. You're killing me with the gold puller. I know, right? <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at you. I'm going to use some of the best glue ever from Scrap Perfect for this part. Fabulous glue. It's very, very tacky glue. Before I do that, I'm just going to stick some on the back here to hold this piece that I knocked a bit because it wasn't completely dry. Kimmy and I are on the Scrap Perfect team, by the way. Actually, it's my posting day. Um, what's today? The 4th? I think today's the 4th, yeah. Yeah, it's my posting day tomorrow. There you go. Okay. So with this, I'm just going to add some glue here and there. 
and let it get a bit tacky. And then when it gets a bit dry, I'll add the, um, the gold leaf. And I got this, if you're in Canada, at Dollarama. They have it um, in gold and they have it in silver. So I got one of each to try. I've used the gold a little bit already and I love it. So I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to put some glue around and I'm going to switch over to Kimmy and she can show you where she's at. Hi, Tammy. They totally need to make rose gold in that. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Over to you, girl. Happy birthday to your fur baby, Tammy. Yes, okay, happy so fur baby. So since we last saw each other, I added, this is some um, vintage bridal trim that's been tea dyed. And then there's a little piece of bling right there. And then on the top, I added some more of the bridal trim here and here. And then um, all this is my stash. I haven't cracked out anything new yet. And then this little piece of bling and this piece of bling, I thought just fit perfectly right there. And this is what I was saying on this piece of bling, especially um, mixed media glue is what's called for. Something like this, a small... The, the glue gun would be okay and the glue gun's working okay for the lace but this one it's a little wobbly if you see so you need to have something a little more sturdy for that it's looking very vintagey i'm kind of going for that but so you can see like when i put it together isn't that going to be precious yeah it's and i so will cute. after the live i will of course paint the bottom and everything so i'm just going to keep on embellishing for now but i'm happy with the way it looks and you can see the eyeshadow, it's subtle, even though I thought this purple was going to be too dark. Because if you look at the purple, it looks so dark. But then on here, it, it's a lot more subtle than you think. I put little tiny, with a small brush around in the grooves. I think that looks really cute. I'm going to do more of that around the edges, too, um, after our show, probably. But I'm happy with the way it's shaping up right now. I'm kind of thinking I want to add an angel to the center of this. A clip you back guys over. like it so far, Kim? What do you think? <laughs> I think your your tin is gorgeous. Okay, thanks. I did say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> thanks, Shani. Thanks, Shivani. <laughs> Everybody loves it. Okay. So I've got these um, angels from Prima, and I'm thinking of putting this one right in the center there. Who doesn't love Prima Angels? Yep. And then I can add a bit of, um, like, just put her right there. <laughs> that is the perfect spot for her, right there. Oh, thank you guys for asking to join my group. I will get to that after the live. That looks pretty. That looks really good, Kim. I like that there. I love Prima. I know, right? Are you going to hit that with some mica or something? Yep. Perfect. That's coming. That's gorgeous. Let me just hit it with a little bit of this paint now while that other glue is drying. I'm just going to get that to be the same color. That's pretty. What color is that? This is um, lace, it's called. That's the color, by, and it's Americana Decor by DecoArt. It's a great color. It yeah, looks like, uh, what's much. that Distress Oxide that I have? It looks like that one. Is it Antique Linen? It looks like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of that, yeah. This is just yeah. called lace. It's a very, very pale, creamy, ivory color. I love it. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I don't want to do too much on there. Okay. Now we'll give it another shot with the heat gun for a minute. 
dry that glue. So now we need a dry brush for this. Um, and then you just want to kind of gently take out some of these pieces and just sort of lay it on top of where you've got the glue. And then you're just going to kind of press it down and it will stick. And if you don't happen to have glue flakes handy, um, Shannon, she got the violin from Olivia Hernandez. Yeah. So uh, about a year ago. So we're not sure where we can buy those. If anybody finds them, they're going to let us know. Yeah. Um, if you don't have gold flake handy, you can use foil. Yes, you can. You know, Finnabar has some gold flakes. Um, I'm trying to think where else. Yeah, there's quite a few online places that you can get um, gold flakes. Um, yeah. I just happened look at the, that big piece. Um, it's it's so incredibly thin. That's the best price though for the amount that you get. Wow. Yeah, dollar twenty five. That's what I paid. That's so, crazy. Yeah, good deal. Crazy good. Yep. And the glue. Um, when it's tacky is great for this because it just grabs the gold foil and then you just kind of brush it and move it around and it sticks so it's really nice because you don't want to have a ton of it you just want to pick up on some of the highlights Of course, yesterday when I did this, I covered myself in gold foil. My, it was everywhere. Oops. Come on off of there. And you want to try and save the small pieces if you can. I mean... This little package, I was like, maybe I should grab two packages, but then I realized you use so little of it that this package will last forever. So then you can see just as you're brushing it, it just kind of sticks wherever you've got the glue. And it really just makes that it look very old. Definitely adds a vintage feel. It really does. Hey, Deanna, I didn't see you come in, honey. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Randy. Hey, Randy. It's Kim and Kimmy today, Randy. There's two of us today. So just to make Kim, it confusing. Kim, Kim squared. <laughs> yep. So I, it looks really cool, doesn't it? There you can see. Super cool. So I'm going to add some to her wings. Wings. I hope you're feeling better, Randy. <laughs> hi, I both your Kims. <laughs> she said, hi, both Kims. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let the glue on the wings dry for a minute and um, 
while that's drying, I'm going to get out some mica powder. I have got, what's this one? Burnished bronze, which is my favorite. I need a different brush. Let me see here. This one will do. So this is a Lindy Stamp Gang mica powder. Love Lindy's. And again, you use very little of it and you just want to get in the nooks and crannies on here. And just keep highlighting. Oh, Randy, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? He's bedridden. What happened? I understand. Believe me, I have uh, degenerative disc disease, so I understand. That has happened to me, being bedridden with my back. So, so do I, and same here. So I'm so sorry, Randy. Yes. Back pain is the worst. It really is, because it just stops you in your tracks. Anytime you want to chat, Randy, I'm a late nighter. I'll chat from, from bed. I was chatting last night with Keisha from Keisha's Creations and her bestie, Millie. I'm just going to put a little on my angel here. Siobhan, Grandma um, had a question for you. What's the question? It's for Siobhan. Oh. I don't know. I didn't see it. I'm in the middle of gluing. Glue, glue, glue. What else is everybody up to today? Well, hubby and I this weekend are going to be finishing, well, starting, let's just say, the Christmas decorating. We're almost done. We just need the tree and a couple of things that, that are too heavy or tall that we need Brian to, to do. <laughs> Because we're short people, us girls in this house. Yeah. Okay, so there's my mica powder on there now, along with the gold foil. And I'm going to put a bit of gold foil on the angel wings. I'm having fun with this. Here at work, Tammy. Oh, what's up with YouTube, Randy? Why are you mad at YouTube? Although I can think of many reasons why I've been mad at YouTube, let me tell you. bit of gold leaf on the wings now so we're just gonna buff that in 
Shannon said the mic is bringing out the molding perfectly. Yeah, it does. I that's why I love mica powder. What movie are y'all talking about that you love the movie? That needs a bit more glue. Okay, so we're going to put that away. And you can see I barely made any kind of a dent in this package here. But yeah, so good deal if you're in Canada. Check that out at your Dollarama. Okay. So there's the gold leaf on the angel. The Quiet Man. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that. Have you, Kim? The Quiet Man? No, I haven't. Nobody's getting notified about your newest video, and I'm not getting there. Oh. Well, let me check mine, because I did hit the bell on yours, Randy, and I'll see if it's there. And if it's not showing up on mine, then I'm not sure what's happening. Because um, I know I hit the bell for your videos. Um, that is one thing everybody has to do on YouTube is hit that bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified when videos come up. If you don't hit the bell, then the YouTube algorithm does not pick that up. Um, so we got to get everybody to do that. Um, so everybody, please go over and check out Randy's new video, please. Absolutely. Um, I have to drive my daughter in like 15 minutes, but when I get back, you better believe I will, Randy. I'm nearly done anyway, Kimmy. I'm going to add some I am, I am too. flour. Good. And I Close. think I've got a gorgeous gold flower of Shivani's. Oh, that might be too big. Might be too big. I'm almost done too. I'm good oh, for it's the perfect color, though. but it's just a bit too big. I am going to add some seam binding though. I will totally go watch The Quiet Man. Is it? Did you guys watch it on Amazon Prime or Netflix or is it in the theater? I'm not sure. I've not heard of it. What's it about? I'm not sure either. But if they recommend it that highly, then I'll check it out. I like movies. It was made in the 50s with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, Who doesn't love John Wayne, though, right? Maureen O'Hara, I love. Famous Irish movie. Okay, I'm on it. I do have some Prima flowers here, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot that lovely lady gave me some Prima flowers, too. Sweetest thing that lady was. I highlight these in gold, they'd probably be really pretty. Let's see what we got here. Got a white one too. I like mixing and matching my flowers, so. That's strange, Mom. She said she's not getting a lot of notifications and the bell is on. That is weird. YouTube has its moments. It's that it's that darn algorithm, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that under there. And then put this here. One one of these lives, we're not sure when yet, though, everybody, that um, we're going to do like a wing it where we have no idea what we're making. Yep. <laughs> and you guys are going to tell us what you want. Yep. To do. Yeah. So get ready for that. That's going to happen soon. Um, we're just going to so. sit here and you guys are going to tell us what to make. You're going to tell us how, what to add to the project and how to do it. And it's going to be hilariously fun. <laughs> 
Let's hope. <laughs> it could be a hot mess. It could be. <laughs> so get your minds thinking about what you want to see us attempt. <laughs> If anybody's interested in coming on with us, message Kim. Oh, you can message either one of us. Well, it's your channel. Hi, Davida. Hi, Davida. What are you up to, girl? Yes, it's going to be fun, Shannon. I think it'll be hilarious. I think Shannon should join us for that one. I also I Siobhan. So too. I think Siobhan should too. Yeah, we need the yeah. whole yeah. the whole girl gang going for that one. Let's just volunteer them now. Yep. <laughs> no All pressure right. or anything. No pressure. <laughs> I have added um, some seam binding here and a couple of little prima flowers that you can see here on the side. And underneath my angel, there's my seam binding. Um, prima flower, this is a petaloo flower. So what I'm going to do now is just add a touches, a few little dry brush touches of gold just to tie it all together. Um, and then I think we're getting close to being done. Petaloo is an offshoot of Prima, right? No, I don't think so. I think they're, com they're completely separate companies. Huh. I thought I they think were Prima I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anybody know the answer to that? Oh, that sounds fun, Mom. Modeling clay, cool. Country girl love, love, loves the violin. Oh, thanks. Me too. Just gonna add a bit of gold to the seam binding too, because why not? Because, you know, you Why not? can't have enough gold, especially if you're Kim Fuller. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, it's a Christmas uh, decoration. So. Gold. All that gold ribbon that I offered to send you yesterday. Nope, nope, nope. Because I have other gold ribbon, my friend. Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do. I'm ribbon shaming her right now, ladies. Yes. <laughs> We're ribbon hoarders. I feel like it needs something else, like a sentiment. That's what it needs, a sentiment. Where would I have put my tiny sentiments? Let me click over on you for a minute, Kimmy. Oh, hang on, one sec, one sec. I'm blowing off the glue strings and then I'll be ready. Cause... Blowing off glue strings? Oh my goodness. I know, imagine that. I do have bling. I am done for now, but I do have to do some finishing touches. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm going to click on you because I don't know what I did with my Timmy sentiments yesterday. Okay. Over to you. My brush is in the cleaner. And here's a tip for you. When we clean our brushes, Kim discovered this. Um, we use the best cleaner ever by Scrap Perfect. Here it is. And we put a couple of spritz of this in the water and it gets all the funk and gunk and everything off your brushes. You might, if they're really dirty, you might have to um, leave them overnight, which is what I did. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far. You can see I added um, these little tea dye color pearls, these little bitty ones. Oh, cute. I added a little Timmy white bottle brush tree. I'm addicted to bottle brush trees. I put some little teeny pearls on the top of that. Um, added the little pearls kind of throughout. I made this cute little bow just with some pink, I think this is Dollar Tree ribbon, and then I put some pearls in the middle. And then I went around the bottom with this really delicate pink lace on the top and the bottom and then I just put this Hobby Lobby um, pearl trim throughout the middle all the way around here's the inside not finished but 
there's the idea. And then I'm still gonna go ahead and add something along this edge right here. Something really, really delicate. It might just be, uh, you know, one little strand of vintage, you know, tea colored pearls. And then I may in this little spot right here, I may take a, a suggestion from Kim and add a tiny little like Joy Noel or something like that um, here. But obviously we'll post pictures, you know, on all our social medias and everything when we're finished, but let me put the lid back on. So if you got that as a gift with some little goodies inside, wouldn't you be happy to receive that? Yep, it's very again, pretty. It's got the, um, the pearls on the bottom so it stands up just to give it a little added detail. So what do y'all think? I think you're so creative, Kimmy. I know, and my husband brought this home from work. Um, empty, no cookies in it for me. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, I, that's, this is totally, you know, like an upcycle and it's all stuff from my stash. So I'm happy with it so far. And like I said, I'll post pictures, um, you know, on my Facebook and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So that's it for me. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I, um, wanted to let everybody know about a challenge that I'm going to be posting shortly, if that's okay with you, Kim, but you can click on me. Okay. Okay. Um, I am having a big birthday in January, at the end of January, and I'm not a fan of my own birthday. I love everybody else's. I'm just not a fan of my own. And um, so I'm trying to embrace the big 5-0. And in an effort to do that, I want to do a challenge. And it's really, really easy. It's just going to be for um, international, U.S., you have a choice to make one of three things, a tag, a card, or a pocket letter. And then I'm going to put everybody's names that sends me something in my prize draw bowl and pick a winner. And I will figure out what prize to send that person after my birthday. So I'm doing it like two or six weeks ahead to give international people time. And it, the, the goal is to be inexpensive. So a tag, a card, a pocket letter, those are all flat and inexpensive to mail. That's kind of, you know, no VRs, just real, real easy. And that's a, an effort to help me embrace that number. <laughs> 21. 49 and permanently holding. There you go. Okay. Back to you. All right. Well, I am just adding a few little, um, uh, what do you call these? Glass beads. That's all I'm doing at the moment with some glue. Just for a bit of texture. Thank you, Grandma uh, Randy. That's and basically... Oh, that's a day before mine, Tammy. Sorry, Kim. Hi, that's Spectrum. My, um... Hi, Maddie. How are you? Hi, Spectrum. That's Maddie. Oh, um, Maddie. Hi, honey. That's Caroline. basically my violin right there. Caroline? Where am I? There I am. There we go. Um, this bling is also from the dollar store. Um, I love it. I love it too. Yeah, super pretty. Um, so that's basically, and I just added a little sentiment there that says magical. So I am going to go around and just add a few more of the little beads just for texture. I've got some in clear as well, just for a bit of texture. I've got some down here at the bottom. And then I've started to put some up here. Um, so I'm just going to finish that. But that's basically my project. So I hope you guys like that. Um, and yeah, if, you know, it just kind of shows anything that you've got, you can alter. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Um. Yeah, it's been good to see all of you guys today. Um, so 
if there's anything you'd like us to do, like I'm looking for things for the new year. If there's anything you'd like us to give a try, a technique you want to know about or a project you'd like to see, um, let us know. Yeah, we're both on Instagram, Randy. Thank you, Debbie. I think I followed you on Instagram, Randy. I think I did the other day. But if not, I'll look today. If you look for me on Instagram, I'll follow you back, Randy. It's a gorgeous violin, isn't it? I, oh, so beautiful. Yes, thank you to the lovely Olivia for sending me that. That was a fun project to alter. We miss you, Olivia. Yeah, we go live um, every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, Maddie. Um, on occasion, I do change it to 3 p.m. when I have um, my friend Shannon on because she can only come on in the evenings. So it's 3 p.m. for her because um, she's in Wales. So we change it to 3 p.m. for her. Um, but usually every week it's at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, so I hope you can come and join us. You know, she just, Dee Dee Riggs just gave me a good idea. I'm going to look at the Dollar Tree for these violins. Hey, Dee Dee. Yeah, I'm in Canada, Dee Dee. So um, the the bling I got at the dollar store, the um, the gold leaf I got at the dollar store. Like I get a lot of my stuff at my um, local Dollarama here in Canada. And um, I know you guys in the U.S. have great stuff at your Dollar Tree. So the dollar store is a great way to find things to alter. I got um, some canvases there and boxes last week and, you know, some really good stuff um, for some upcoming projects. So Dollar Tree, dollar, to to go. dollar Tree, Dollarama, Trash to Treasure, Upcycling is our religion. <laughs> I love your work too, Randy. Yes. Randy's an amazing artist, amazing awesome. digital artist. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to check that, Deanna. So I'm, um, I'm getting ready to go drive Caroline to work. So I'm literally going to go check a Dollar Tree right now and I'll buy as many as I can find. And we'll share. Yeah, check out your Dollar Store because, you know, yeah. just altering. I mean, it may not be as big as this violin because this one is, right. you know, my arm. It's fairly big. But even right. if you found smaller ones, how pretty would they be altered, you know? Um, so I would love to get a few smaller ones to, to hang on my tray for sure. Um, but I am going to call the class right now, guys. I'm sorry if you just came in, but please do um, rewatch it um, if you like, and you can see everything that we did. And I'm so glad to see you all. Hi, Thank Faye. You. <laughs> Hi, Faye. Thank don't you forget for me. Kim, yeah. if you want to stay on, it's fine. I have to go, though. No, I've got to go, too, honey. Okay. Um, Bye, please. everybody. Thank you so much. Kisses Bye, and hugs. Kimmy. Bye, Kimmy. Bye. Um, please remember to subscribe to everybody in the chat and uh, like, share, and subscribe to me and to Kimmy um, and share the video and watch on the replay if, you, if you're just coming in now. I'm sorry, but we are live every Tuesday at 11 a.m. So please come and join us every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, which is uh, 4 p.m. UK time. So that's it for right now. I am going to go to take care, everybody, and I will see you all soon. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye.